bouncing down your bases for more additive creativity. So to do this in Ableton, all we have to do is right click, freeze our track, make sure you save your MIDI, right click again and flatten track. First off is the possibility of reversing. You can time stretch the bass to create ear candy for your track. For example, here we have this bass and you can see there's an empty gap there. Now, if I want it to be crazy, let's say, what I can do is when warp is on is hold shift and then extend out. From here, obviously, it's a lot easier to kind of do little stutters if that's what you want for the track. The other thing is that it changes your mind from being in synth mode to more post-processing mode. For example, I could grab the initial wub and bring that down here where I could hit it with this rack from a new pack that I'll be releasing at the end of this week. 